Hey guys, Teddy Covers with a big game breakdown for Wager Talk TV. Let's talk the Mountain West Conference Championship game. Saturday afternoon, right here in Las Vegas. Look at the Wager Talk Live odd screen. I'm seeing Boise State, a two point favorite at some books, two and a half at some others. It is a split line as we speak. Total right now sitting in the 58 and a half range between the Broncos and the Rebels. Now let me start with this. All right, I've been in Las Vegas since 1998, and this isn't the best UNLV team I've seen. It's by far the best UNLV team that I've seen during this entire span. All right, the Rebels haven't finished with a winning record in Mountain West play, what, twice since joining the conference in 1999. So two times they've had a winning record. The nine wins this year, the most they've had since going 11-2 and two in 1984 when they were in the Pacific Coast Athletic Association and Randall Cunningham was their quarterback. They don't have Randall Cunningham, Cunningham at quarterback this year. And of course, UNLV last week with a chance to clinch their portion of their position in the Mountain West Championship game lost right here at home to San Jose State. They won the, uh, the computer rankings which allowed them to play in the title game. But at the time when they played it, a loss could have been the end for them. And they knew it. And they still couldn't win against San Jose State. My clients and I have done very well with Boise State the last couple of weeks. When they fired head coach Andy Avalos, that was a big bet on sign for the Broncos. Because the interim head coach, Spencer Danielson, the defense coordinator who got promoted, was someone who the players absolutely loved and someone who the players wanted to become their head coach. You know, here's a quote from defensive tackle Michael Callahan. People around here would run through a brick wall for that man. He's probably one of the most influential people in my life. He's going to coach you hard and be honest with you. He's a guy who truly cares about each and every one of his players. Wide receiver Billy Bowens, you know, the atmosphere has been completely different at practice. You know, the mood feels lighter and everyone's excited to play for him. He's a great coach and an even better man. He's someone I love being around. I'm super excited for him. It's surely worth noting that when Danielson took over the job, and of course they're 2-0 straight up, 2-0 against the spread uh, since uh, he took over. But when he took the job, all right, his quote, you know, these guys have done so much for this place and so much for me. We're so passionate to finish this right for them. Their legacy is still not finished. They want to win this title game. <laughs> it's meaningful for them. And they're the better of these two teams. For all the strength that UNLV has had this year, it's hard for me to trust them in this big of a step-up game. They did not fare well most of the regular season when they stepped up in class, even though they managed to win some of those games. The losses, San Jose and Fresno, Two of the better teams that they faced. And they didn't face Boise. When they face Boise, and again, I recognize that UNLV is way better this year under Barry Odom than they've been in any recent decade. But this series history, 38-13, to 42-25, to 55-27, 32-7, to 48-21, all Boise wins in the last five meetings. Boise was at least a three-touchdown favorite in every one of those ballgames. I wouldn't play against Boise here. It's the Broncos or pass. I think the better of these two teams give UNLV credit for an exceptional season, but I'm not expecting them to win this one. And I certainly wouldn't be surprised at all if Boise takes care of business and wins by margin. There's my take on the Mountain West Championship game. I do want to let you guys know about some of the specials going on right now over at wagertalk.com. We've got right now, and look, I'm running really good. <laughs> it's been a very, very good run for me in recent weeks. I think I'm, uh, what, 25-7 and seven with my last 32 plays, 8-1 and one with the last nine. Great weekend. The last two weeks have been very good. NFL's been good. NBA's been outstanding. We've got specials right now for 90-day all-access passes, 30-day all-access passes, 7-day all-access passes. You can get those from visiting the website at wagertalk.com. And let me give you one more if you just want a taste. A three-day all-access pass. Use promo code 15OFF3. That's 15OFF3. At checkout and take 15 bucks off any three-day pass all week long at wagertalk.com. Again, promo code 15OFF3 to take $15 off any three-day all-access pass. Nothing more to buy. 
no bait and switch. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the games and best of luck with all of your wagers.